everybody, Seiko Starfighter here, loading a game from some Legacy of the Void. Show you my opponent here. Yeah, Ashier, 60 points so far. I'm playing his Legacy of the Void ladder. So he's been on this for quite a while, lots of experience. Zerg player up here in the top left. Down here in the bottom right, Missy in the blue turn. Leaving the timer going, just so people can kind of see the build orders on this. He played as random, so I'm going out for a mega early scout. We'll see, I've got a, I've got a plan in mind. It's kind of all in this year, but we'll you'll see as it goes along. The game before this, I played against a Zerg player where I tried to play very passive. I wanted to go for one of those super late, famous Shawnee Zerg games, TVZs. What the hell is that? Sure, why not? Uh, but I just you don't do the damage to the Zerg player. They're a little bit too free and open, and they just kind of run over you. Part of my scouting does see that it is a hatchery first. We'll come up here and I want to see if there's for some reason a ridiculously fast gas along with this. There is not. It's also a very important thing for me to see. Back on this side, I do have a gas going down. As well as my barracks. I haven't fully taken all that gas yet. It's not as important quite at this moment. Excuse me. Double hatch first. And that's what you you see out of some people that are just so confident you know they've played so many games you have against a Terran player with like half the experience points which uh, turns out to be way the hell less games because the experience obviously stacks second gas being taken I'm throwing so some uh, marines out here what I want to do is I want to go and snipe this overlord a lot of people just don't respect the marine in the early games anymore gas going down before a pool this is like the life GSL classic opening, but it usually does it on like a four player map. So out comes the first Marine, second one on the way, factory started, second gas taken as well. I don't know if that counts as a landing platform. It might. So anyways, I'm still technically ahead in workers at this point. We'll see for how long. Queen's obviously very delayed. When you go for this double hatch opening, kind of puts you behind the eight ball a little bit. Snipe the Overlord, but he's got three more in production. That's a huge investment. That's two Queens delayed. A little bit of a panic reaction from him there. Throwing down a bunker at the front. This is kind of a fake. Because I've got a double factory going down. Starting a tech lab and a reactor. So just the two marines. Kind of kind of faking an expansion here. Making it seem like this is going to be a normal game. Still pretty tight in workers. I don't know why he keeps building overlords. It must be a mistake. Because look at this. He goes about to be at this is 60 supply. 58 supply. Yeah, 58 supply. Um, something's weird about that. Anyways, blue flame is on the way. Get pulled a couple of workers out of gas because I don't need it for what I'm going to be doing right now. My This is my first time trying this, so my timing's a little messed up. I did throw down my command center before my Hellions, so a little bit messed up on my timing here, but power of the mules will keep me going. So three Hellions at a time with blue flame. My opponents made no units, of course, just building queens and drones. So now he's going to start taking a huge worker lead. But I do have an expansion behind this. I did kill one of his Zerglings. You might have just seen the blood disappear there. I did see that. He had scouted this. I'm putting one Marine. Sometimes an Overlord will be over here to run into your base. But as you can tell, he's not scouting at all. There's no way he knows this is coming. Lair. Speed is on the way. I mean, that helps. But against Blue Flame Aliens, it's not going to help that much. Still making some workers. Try not to be totally useless on my economy. So that way, like, a lot of players will just leave after they get a mineral line pillaged. I've been in games where as soon as you run out of the Hellions, they just leave. In this case, we'll see how he's going to deal with this. Eight more workers on the way. The Marines came out to clean up that Zergling, and they're going to head across the map. Like, this is just kind of some light little thing. And out comes quite a few Hellions. The rest are rallied to meet up with it. I do have my command center finished up. After this, I will be starting a tank, in case this does not work out. 
So eight Hellions with three more on the way up. Oh, Evos, Roach Warrens, terrible timing. Zerglings were on move command. I see that there's no workers in this mineral alliance. I'm like, what the hell? These guys are just on hold position over here. So that'll actually get a good surround there. Turns to fight with them. I see the units that are coming from the third base. So I'm going to run that way. Not the best shots here. My control a little bit off. Good lit on those. See if I can get that last shot off. Good hit. So he's down to 8 workers to my 25. He had to build a couple of roaches to stay alive after that. Tank in position. Orbital finishing up. Now I gotta spend all my money. Command center. More factories. Hellions coming out. My marines are still chilling up here as well. I thought that was pretty funny. I'm just going to go for a run. Still going to build more Hellions because I think that I can get away with another attack. The, as a Zerg player in this position, you have two choices. You build units and you go all in. Hence, I have a tank and a bunker, even though there's only one thing in it. Or you've got to go for rebuilding your economy. And right now, his money is so bad because he built those roaches that he can only build a couple of drones at a time. It's actually his best mineral line. So I'll have five Blue Flame Hellions moving out that way. Factory's all finishing up. Another Siege Tank. Factory's all finished up. Get the add-ons on it. My next command center will be done here in a second. And there's the GG. 39 worker kills. Now, that was kind of a build order win. He went for that third hatch. But it... It would have worked, I believe, even if he went for a delayed third hatch. Because a lot of the times, Zerg players are going to go as greedy as possible. That's just the nature of it. Coming up here, seeing no gas, no spawning pool. You've got that opportunity to go for something like this. Because you can start your gas so quick as a Terran player. Anyways, fun game. That made me feel a lot better after my evening. Sego Starcraft, thanks everybody for watching. We'll talk with you later.